It's the Donties. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's me, your favorite Donna. Who's squeaky? <laughs> so we just got back from Walt Disney World today, and we have a ton of stuff that we bought, a lot more than we anticipated, but we weren't able to go on our cruise, so we might have overcompensated from not being able to go by buying a lot more than we anticipated because our original plan was to ship all of our Disney souvenirs home um, before we went on the cruise. So because we didn't need to do that, we had plenty of storage, our luggage space. Um, and we knew we weren't going on the cruise like a week before we actually left for Disney. So we planned to bring extra luggage to carry all of our suitcases home. And I still ended up having to buy another backpack. Yeah. To pack <laughs> it all in. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to have all like several haul videos just to kind of keep everything short. But Disney was definitely, I think our most purchases was actually in the parks yeah. or in Disney Springs. So without further ado, we're just going to get into it. <laughs> I bought this Mickey. It's a little Bigfoot style Mickey and it has the Festival of the Arts logo on there. Um, I was very bummed they didn't have any pins um, for the festival so I'm going to try to find one um, to purchase separately or to trade for. Um, but yes, I had to get this guy to sit on our Disney shelf and just to commemorate the fact we were there for the second year in a row for Festival of the Arts. I got the little green alien popcorn bucket. <laughs> Yeah, she had, she, I think this is like the first thing we purchased. Yeah. Um, in Hollywood Studios. And of course, you know, everyone's seen this, right? It has, it goes all the way down to his feet. Um, and we didn't fill it up with popcorn. We put it off to the side. Yeah. So we didn't damage him. And he actually held like a ton of pins that we purchased, um, on the way home. So <laughs> we emptied him now. So he's good. And he's just going to go on the shelf. We knew that when we yes, bought him. Absolutely. Um, so then we also bought just a set of frozen little plastic dolls. Um, so you have Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Marshmallow, Sven, and oof. Oh gosh, what's his name? Kristoff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kristoff. So, so there you have all of them. Again, these are just going to sit on the shelf. These are not for the kids. These are no, for our No, these are dolls. auntie's toys. Boom. So we bought, this is part of the new food line that they came out with. Um, and these are like cups that look like ice cream cones. We thought this would be perfect for soups during the winter time and ice cream or um, root beer floats or Coke floats in her, <laughs> in her case. Um, but these are really nice big cups and we just thought they were super cute. So we had to get those. So along with the food stuff, um, I got a package of these pop Mickey popsicle um, molds. They're silicone molds. There's three of them in there and they all have like a little bite taken out of it you can see there. It's kind of hard to glare. But um, I'm a baker as you guys know and have seen um, and I want to make, attempt to make cake pops in this shape. That's a big old cake pop. It is a big cake pop but I think I can do it and if not I mean we can do jello, we can do ice cream, ices, maybe adult themed popsicles. Of course we went to Disney, Disney Springs. Disney Springs, yes. And we went to the Coke store and they had this thing where they had these little surprise bundles. And so I thought, hey, let's buy these surprise bundles. Maybe we can open them on a video or something. Yeah, so, so we have no idea what's in there. Um yeah and we went to the we went to Disney Springs specifically for vanilla Coke. Because I can't buy vanilla Coke just anywhere on property, but I know they have them at the Coke store in Disney Springs. So we went there to get bottles of vanilla Coke um, for me at, to keep at our resort while we were staying. Because I can get cherry Coke in the resorts. Yeah. Cherry Coke is That makes her mad. <laughs> vanilla Coke is nowhere to be found. So we went there. I, they were out of the bottle, so I had to get cans, which is fine. I'm used to the cans, but we saw this mystery bundle, so we thought, let's grab it and let's do just a random unboxing or opening um, on our channel. So, okay. We'll do that in another video. So we went to be our guest uh, for lunch on our Magic Kingdom day, and we got these souvenir cups. 
which I love. One, Beauty and the Beast, but two, um, yeah, these are travel um, cups, mugs. Um, but two, I love it because it has my name. My last name is Guest, so I love these. So I actually got some freebies, believe it or not, at Walt Disney World. So we got these postcards. Um, so at the Festival of the Arts, you could get some paint and paint um, a portion of a wall. And after everyone does their part throughout the day, this is the image that we actually painted on the wall in Epcot. So this was a cool souvenir that we got for free just for painting, which that was also free. Um, but then they were also handing out these adorables, and I think this was in Hollywood Studios. Yeah, it was in Hollywood Studios. They were giving these away um, every like $20 purchase. They were giving these adorables away. So we actually ended up getting four at the park um, on our first day. So we're gonna open these a little later, but there's just an image of everything that's in this particular collection. Um, so and we, as we were purchasing, we split it up so we were able to get multiple of these packages. So those are our freebies that we got in the parks, which is crazy. We ended up buying two of these like lanyard holders, but it has a carab carabiner, has a carabiner on it. And it actually is a Mickey hand that holds a bottle. So we got two of these and we actually use these, um, of course this one's actually still on my backpack, um, to hold our, our swell bottles that we took with us. So we were able to just have it accessible and not actually in our backpacks with the easily grab them. So we got two of those. Then just a couple of little postcards that we got. That was Epcot. And then Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. This is the Wonderground Gallery. My fave. Yeah, so. And oh, this was another kind of freebie. So whenever we went to the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater, ah, I got this glow cube in my drink. And so it has different colors that glows. So of course I fished this out and washed it off real quick and a little fun thing. Um, then I also got a, a set of four magnets. And the reason why I got these is because I am loving the Mickey and Minnie hipster style that they've started coming out with. So I found these Minnie and Mickey magnets that are hippie or hipster, I think is what they're calling them, style. So they are a little pop out. So like their, their faces are kind of popped out. Their ears are popped out. I just thought that was really cool. So then we also bought some apparel. I bought these for Donna for her birthday because she is a child. Um, but we got these uh, Crocs that are Mickey themed. And which one? They blink. <laughs> and these are actually kids shoes. So got those for her birthday. I told her I'd borrow something for her birthday and that's what she picked out. So that's that. Aren't they cool? <laughs> And then I got myself this uh, three-quarter sleeve Haunted Mansion t-shirt. And it says, Welcome to the Haunted Mansion. And I just love it. I mean, it's a three-quarter sleeve, two different shades of gray, and then the pop of color on the ghost portrait there. And my Haunted Mansion shirt is just plain, because, you know, I'm just plain. But it says, The Haunted Mansion. It has the three ghosts and at the bottom. There's always room for one more. Then after we saw um, Nemo, uh, the musical, I bought this shirt. I know, oh, I won't remember any of this. And there's Dory at the bottom. And this is so me because I don't remember anything. I have a horrible memory. Nope. And I got me a Hey Hey shirt, y'all. Because she loves Hey Hey. I love Hey Hey. I saw Mr. Cheesy Pop with this shirt. And Did I, he have it? Yes. Oh my gosh. He's worn it in his videos. And I'm like, I'm getting that shirt because I tell my nieces and nephews that I'm their Hey Hey. I'm totally pointless, but I'm always there for them. So if you did not know, she loves Hey Hey. <laughs> um, so then Donna actually bought me these. So this is part of the new 
food line that they just came out with. And it's just a pair of like lounge pants, sleep pants. They're gray. They have pockets. And then along the side, they have all of the different food icons all the way down. And then there's a pocket with the food icon on the back. So I love these. I actually wore these on the plane ride home today. And I, love I got me a pair of lounge pants too. <laughs> she did. And it's all the villains. Got Cruella and Scar and the Evil Queen. Queen of Hearts. Oh, yeah. Ursula. Dr. Facilier. All of them. And then down the side it says It's good to be bad. So I like it. <laughs> so with it being her birthday and Holly mentioned being her absolutely favorite ride, I'm just gonna let her go with this one because this is all stuff. For her. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of went crazy in Memento Mori. Yeah, you got it. Because Haunted Mansion, duh. So, they have these books, okay? And they have three volumes. One is The Fearsome Foursome. Uh, volume two is Midnight at Madame Leota's. And volume three is Grim Grinning Ghosts, and it's ghost they're, stories. They're actually books. Like, I thought it was maybe, like, journals, but no, no this isn't, like, a for real book. It's so. books about the ghosts that are in the Haunted Mansion. I got this little tag to go on, like, my backpack. Yeah, it's one of those lanyard medals. And I'm sure all of this stuff glows in the dark. I would be surprised if they don't. And I got this little door sign that says... Welcome, foolish mortals, and there's no turning back now. That's hard to see, but it's Madame Leota. There you go. And she so says there's no turning back now. <laughs> so it's a little door hanger. I'm probably putting that on our bedroom door, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> I got a magnet set so that I can play Haunted Mansion. <laughs> you can play on a mansion. I've got play on a mansion. How many magnets are in there? Uh, 27. 27 magnets. So, I'm going to play on a mansion. That reminds me of like one of those like paper dress-up dolls, but they're magnets. That's what it looks like to me. Anyway. I'm going to play on a mansion. Okay. <laughs> I got a deck of cards. And a cool little looks like a coffin. It's really cool. And then they're actually the stretcher and portraits are on the cards. And Sorry, you guys, this glare. We haven't unwrapped anything, so the glare is a little crazy. And, of course, the cards glow in the dark. And I got this little, it's key really chain. a keychain, and it does light up. There's a few different light settings. You have the seizure flashing <laughs> light. You have one that slowly grows, and just over and over, and then the solid. And I'm actually going to use this as a Christmas ornament on my black Christmas tree. The last thing from the store, I think, is so Oh, no, 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 not the last thing. It's it. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the haunted mansion. It's the Doom Buggy. So it has several of the lines from the actual ride built in. Like there's, I don't even know how many sayings or sentences, but it basically takes you through the entire ride of what the ghost host says during the ride. So that's fun. And then I think yeah. the last thing for my Haunted Mansion haul is my new hat. It glows in the dark. It does. The letters, the candles, and then the letters on the back, the logo. I'm going to put it back on because I've been wearing it all day and I got hat hair. But I love my new hat. So I've actually been wanting to try some of the popcorn, the packaged popcorn. And because it was her birthday, I wanted to look for the the birthday cake one. And we finally found it, I think, in the Dumbo tin. Big Top Souvenirs. So we got a package of the birthday cake popcorn. And again, we haven't opened any of this yet, so we haven't tried it. And then I also got the chocolate sea salt with caramel popcorn. Brittany, you can't have none. Because, oh my gosh, sea salt is like my favorite. And chocolate caramel, oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. And then, kind oh of... Gosh, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> kind of something that has become a tradition since we started doing the dining plan is to see how many... <laughs> 
snack credits we can rack up at the end of the trip <laughs> so that we can see how many of these we can bring home. Yes, so we got several of the circular Anna and Elsa and then Olaf because these are actually, we're looking at like from what, like what you see, these look like the biggest, but then we actually were looking at the ounces and these are definitely the largest ones that we could find. And then we've got some little fancier ones. Yeah, we got the, for, oh, the Mickey and Minnie. Oh, I think this one's really cute too. A Rice Krispie Treat made to look like the, the Mickey ice cream. bar. And then because it's the 90th birthday, we got a couple of the Mickey and Minnie birthday Rice Krispies. I don't even know how many we came home with. I'm thinking like close to 20. Yeah, we so, haven't counted them yet. But, we haven't counted them yet. Um, but we brought home a lot. Yeah, we did. Um, but we have a lot of family, and this is just an easy way to grab them something um, and ship it off to them. Because um, Rice Krispie Treats ship really well. <laughs> we found that out last time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we got the family some Rice Krispie Treats, but we're going to keep definitely keep some for ourselves. Oh, yeah. Because we don't know when the next time we're going to get a Disney is. So, that is all of our snacks. Okay. So, now let's get into the pins. Kind of went crazy. So, I was really looking for two specifics. I was looking for the Princess Letters a mystery collection that just came out, what, like, I think in December. And then I was looking for the Current Mood collection that um, just came out while we were actually in the parks. They came out, I think, last week. And then they were spotted at Disney World while we were there. So we went searching like crazy for them. Could not find them, so I was upset about that. Yeah, she looked everywhere I for did. those pins and didn't find them. No, every pin store, every little shop, everywhere. Multiple times, as every time we passed by them, thinking maybe they came in. <laughs> yeah, um, she kept know. going, wait, it's been a couple of hours. Let's <laughs> Things look have here. Changed. Um, but I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of the Princess Letter Collection. So this is the newest uh, Princess box. So you will see some unboxings um, on our channel very, very soon. So I have six boxes of those. Then, of course, you guys saw the unboxing we did of the delicious drinks. I got hey, hey. Yeah, we got hey, hey. But we have two more that we will need to open. So that'll be oh, so that'll be fun. Um, and then I picked up two more Monsters University um, mystery collection. So we opened two boxes on our channel. They were duplicate boxes. So yeah. I was hopefully. like, let's, let's try two more. Then I was surprised that I saw this collection. So this is the American Adventure limited release pin collection. There are 54 pins in this collection, but it, how do I explain this? So there's two pins per box, but not every state is by itself. Like a lot of the smaller states, um, it's kind of like a collage, which most of you guys who are in the pin community are very much well aware of that. Um, but the reason why there's 54 is because there are 27 pins that make up the map. So they have the entire map, but then they also have a chaser of every one of those pins, which is the other 27. But I don't want any of the chasers, and I really just want Texas and maybe Florida, California, Kansas, like places that we've been. Virginia would be cool. I think Virginia has a couple of other states with it. But I got five boxes, so we're gonna be unboxing those as well. Um, then the individual pins. That mine. This is a Haunted Mansion pin that I didn't even know existed. So we got this one, so another Haunted Mansion pin. We went to Hoop to do review, so we got a pin to commemorate that. So even though this was a Valentine's Day pin and it is a limited edition, they were everywhere. So I went ahead and grabbed one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or maybe trade it away, but I thought, why not? This is another one that came out, um, and I'm surprised that they still had these. Um, so this is the Magic of Honor pin. Um, this is a pin of the month, I believe. Um, I, don't, I just don't know if it's January. I think it's January, if I'm not mistaken. But this was still in stock, so I grabbed one. Again, not sure if I'm going to 
trade it or keep it. But. And then the last pin that we picked up was this one. They still had a ton of these in stock um, at Hollywood Studios and, and Animal Kingdom. So we collect Genie, and I'm actually wanting to collect this entire series. Um, so this is the new 2019, um, another pin of the month collection. And so yeah, we had to grab that one as well. So I believe that is all the pins that we purchased in the parks or at Disney Springs. So I think so. Okay, just a couple more things, you guys. Stay with us. So we saw you know the new food line, the new food collection, and after. I had determined that I could just wear a crossbody bag. I was looking at some of the the mini lounge fly backpacks that she, you know her Ursula one is sitting on the pole, but it's like the same size. And I was like, you know, I would love to be able to have a smaller one. Kind of debated about it, and um, I fell in love with one. And I think it was two days later we actually bought it, or she bought it for me. So I was spoiling her on this trip, obviously because it was her birthday trip, but. I think she tried to one-up me with those pants that I showed you because she also bought me this beauty. So this is the Disney Lounge Fly mini backpack of the new food um, line that they have out, which is super cute. I absolutely love it. I love the dark color on this. And then all the food icons are just kind of scattered and I just, I love this so much. So I actually wore this to Magic, or we bought it in Magic Kingdom. We bought it in Magic Kingdom. So I was able to kind of wear it and uh, get used to it. And I actually really like this, like a lot. I don't think it's just gonna be a park bag. I think I'm gonna actually use this in my daily life. As that's, like that's my your purse? purse? Yeah, it's like my purse. I do need a new purse anyway, so I might just have to use this because it is beautiful, it's gorgeous, and oh my gosh, this is like, one of the only like new food line items that don't smell because all of their food line, most of the items actually are scented. Yeah. Like the chocolate bar, like the Rice Krispie treat, like, oh. She don't... kept picking up these little stuffed things and going, hey, smell this. Um, they weren't little, like some of well, them are huge, like body pillow length and yeah, just huge. I could sleep with a body pillow that smelled like chocolate. And the only thing was, dreams. yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, boom, um, but she found a really awesome pizza pillow, but it wasn't scented. It was like the only thing that wasn't scented. I, I still need no, that pizza pillow. Anyway, so I love this. Thank you so much. And then we we, we kind of went back and forth on this last thing that we bought. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, which you don't have to, absolutely, this is not. This is like my personal stuff. Um, but I did share a sneak peek of this uh, whenever we got it in our resort. So we had something specially made at the Festival of the Arts. And they do this thing where they can um, draw out the letters of your name and then either include characters inside of the letters or some sort of design or put like characters around your name like on the outside in the white space. and. We saw, we saw them whenever we first got to Epcot, into the World Showcase, and we were discussing it, we came back, we talked to them, they were showing us tons of different things that they've done and that they are working on, and we decided to take the plunge and do it. Um, and it was, cr it was like crazy perfect, because the max that they can do is eight letters, and Dante's is exactly eight letters, so, the first part of Dante's is the first part of her name. So the first four letters are hers, and then the last four letters is kind of my name a little bit. It's, well, the kids call her Auntie. Yeah, I'm Auntie to all of the, the nieces and nephews. About three years ago, um, my niece Riley, on New Year's Eve, came up with our joint name as Dante's. So that's what everyone has referred to us since then. Let's go to the Dante's house. Let's, you know, whatever. I want to go see the Dante's or whatever. So that's actually why we named our channel the Dante's. Um, but we actually got our names made in characters. Um, and we decided, I was, I was struggling with my four characters because we wanted each letter to, have to be its own character. And because the first part of our joint name is our hers, she chose four villains to represent her name. Yep. So then I was like, okay, well, let me choose four of my favorite characters. And I went back and forth between 
um, I think I originally had Belle and Elsa, um, but then I decided to switch those two out with two actual characters, like not princesses. Um, so this is the final product, and it's basically good guys versus bad guys. Pretty much. Pretty much. Good and evil. Good and evil. So this is what we purchased. We had made. It says Daunties. The D is a lot easier to see. Um, the A is a little weird um, because there's, it's not like your traditional letter A. You can see the W, um, N, and then T, I, E, and S. So we have her four, which are Ursula, Maleficent, Dr. Casilli, and Lotso. So four villains that she chose. And then the four good guys I chose um, actually represent my pin collections. So we collect Jeannie, Mike Wazowski, and then I, by myself, collect Dory and Olaf. So this was super awesome. And I love how this turned out. Like this was incredible. And you'll see whenever we post our vlogs, I did film my, re or you filmed my reaction first of seeing it for the first time in person. And then I didn't show her. And I put it back in there, we flipped it around, and then she got to see it for the first time before we actually showed you guys. But this haul is gonna go up well before the vlogs. Um, especially this one, because I think this was, we got this the last night, the night before we left. So it's gonna be our last day vlog. But oh my gosh, this is amazing. And we're gonna get it framed, and we don't know if we're gonna put it like in the background of our videos. We're still trying to set up a more permanent home, or maybe like whenever we film the Disney content stuff, we'll have a permanent Disney background. Um, but we normally film upstairs on the third floor in the kid cave. Um, that's where most of our videos are shot, unless we're lazy and don't wanna walk up two flights of stairs. Well, so. we didn't wanna carry all of this stuff all the this way is up true. two flights of stairs. Exactly. So we're doing the halls in here, but because we just got home and our feet still hurt, y'all. Oh my gosh. Y'all know how how your feet feel. Yeah, and you're you're gonna hear about this in our last day vlog. But last night I got rammed pretty hard in the back of my ankle um, with a metal the footrest. Metal footrest of a wheelchair. Um, and yeah, so my, it, it hurts to go up and down the stairs as I've found, um, since we've been home, but so yeah, I don't know where we're going to put this, where, where we're going to display it, if it's going to make it into our videos or not, but this was just a, a fantastic souvenir and keepsake that we'll have. And I just, I love how the characters turned out. I really do. Really, really. And I love how Mike the little, like, he is the I in our name, and yeah, it's just super creative, and I love it. Yeah, it's cool. So that was everything we actually got in the parks and at Disney Springs. We're going to have more haul videos from Character Warehouse, and we went to Booster Packs and Beyond, and we uh, what we got at the airport. So we're going to have a couple more haul videos just kind of spread out. Um, but we're going to record them all now because we are dying to put this stuff up and I'm really dying to get into the pins, but I will hold off um, because we have so much other content lined up um, already, um, Disney and non-Disney, so keep a lookout for those, but hopefully the hauls will will come a lot quicker than the vlogs will, so. <sighs> so tired. I, so, oh, your favorite thing from the parks. I love our name, but because this is just mine, I'm going to say this. I really, really like my new hat, y'all. <laughs> I really like my new hat. I, I love Haunted Mansion, if you can tell. And so we are subscribed to Magic at Your Door. And for this month, I took out all of my preferences and only put her preferences in there so she could have like a mini birthday box. And everything she was picking up, I was like, you might get that in your in your box. I don't know what's coming, but I did say Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion. So I'm hoping she didn't buy anything that we're already going to get in the box. I can I'm, have two. That would be a waste. No, I could have two. We could have spent that money on something else. You know what I, I mean? I could have two. So we'll, we'll <laughs> see. It actually shipped um, yesterday. 
So we should get it in the next couple of days. So, And you know we gonna be posting a video of opening that as soon as we get it. Because I ain't gonna wait, y'all. No, no well, wait. we never do. Like, we always film... Whether we come home like straight home from work and it's there, we don't care. We will go and film the opening. We may not post it for a, a day or two, but you know, as we edit and stuff. But just, just to get into it, because I like the pins. I'm getting a handle on waiting, but the magic eight door box. We can't you know, wait. There's no waiting. And no. now that this one's gonna be all about me, she I'm can't really wait. not gonna wait. So. Hopefully, we're not going to see any duplicate merchandise, but if we do, then we we'll do. Just deal with it's it. okay. <sighs> All right, so that's everything from the Disney Parks. And stay, like I said, stay tuned for other haul videos coming uh, from this trip. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.